Hello friends, uh, welcome to Smart Leaders. Uh, this is the second part of the uh, preliminary key, which are the examination you have written. This is the second part. Uh, this will consist of some questions relating to geography. So the third and fourth part is ready. Sir, uh, sir, Sirajal sir and Suresh sir is waiting. They will uh, continue the live discussion after I have done. So let us see the questions which are existing here. So question number two here, this is set A. As we all know, we have already discussed the question which is set A. <coughs> so the second uh, so the second, uh, we will go with the set A, the second question is, with the reference to land reforms in uh, independent India, which of the following statement is correct? The ceiling laws were aimed at family holdings and not individual holdings, it is given. This uh, looks like correct because it is given for the family holdings, undivided Hindu family holdings. But over a period of time, it was converted into individuals also, individual ceiling was also kept. So among the answers which you have seen, the major aim of the land reforms are providing agricultural land to all the landless it resulted in the cultivation of cash crops. This and all is not uh, a, 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 a correct answer. Land reforms permitted no exemption of, it, it permitted some exemptions. But among the answers which should be A or B, I suggest that the B should be the answer because the major aim of the land reforms was providing agriculture land to all the landless. The all here should not be taken literally as all because sometimes when you take the question as all, you will tend to take that all we will not be taken as a literally sense. So the major aim of the land reforms was providing agriculture land to all the landless. That was one of the ma main important purpose for which the land reforms is done. So question number two, answer is B. I am speaking about set A. Please note that we are speaking about set A. So question number two, answer is B. Second, which of the following national parks lie completely in the temperate uh, alpine zone? So if you temperate, if you see, all the national parks here which is given is uh, located in the temperate region. So among them, when I see alpine, I have to calculate based on the altitude. Based on the altitude, if you calculate among this national park which is existing, Valley of Flowers, uh, Valley of Flowers National Park is located in the highest altitude among them. So question number 18, answer is D for this. Next question number 20. On the 21st June, the sun does not set, uh, the option they have given, A, does not set below the horizon at the Arctic Circle, does not set. So he, easily you can eliminate a few answers here. For example, sun shines vertically over the Tropic of Capricorn. This is wrong because it shines vertically over the Tropic of Cancer. It is in the, on the 21st June, the sun is in the Northern Hemisphere, that is in the Tropic of Cancer. So the answer D is gone. This is gone. Sun shines vertically over at the noon and the equator. That is also wrong. That is also not existing does not set below the horizon at the Antarctic circle they have given. Antarctic circle if the sun shouldn't have to set means the sun should be in the southern hemisphere which is not the fact here. So 21st June the sun is in the northern hemisphere so the answer here is A. It does not set below the horizon of the Arctic circle that is why in the Arctic circle there is six months of daylight during this uh, uh, during summer in which the northern hemisphere of the earth is facing towards the sun. So question number 20 answer is A. Next question number 27, which of the following are in Agassiz MLA Biosphere Reserve? This is a simple factual question. I do not want to go detailed into the question. The answer is going to be A because Nayar, Papar, all this is a part of this Agassiz MLA Biosphere Reserve. So question number 27, answer is A. Question number 29, consider the following pairs. Wildlife we have given, naturally found here it is given. So just I am going to take any one and try to match and either eliminate or accept one of these things. Just I am taking this uh, Iravadi dolphin because uh, this uh, is a very important species if you see. This Iravadi dolphin is uh, not definitely found in the Chambal river which we all know. It is found in the Mekong river. It is found in Mekong and it is also found in the Chilka and other, uh, other places uh, in the near the Bay of Bengal. So it is definitely not found in uh, Ch Chambal river. So I am going to remove two. Wherever two is existing, I am going to cut the answer. So the answer for this is C. So question number 29, answer is C. 31, recently there was a growing awareness in the country about the importance of Himalayan nettle. Of course, this, uh, this is an important uh, fiber, it is a plant. Uh, what is the reason why it has been in the recent news that is asked? Of course, uh, the options all may look uh, correct, uh, but recently there is an article which has been reported recently in a sense one year back and uh, the community which is existing uh, who are uh, harvesting this uh, this plant they harvest and they they produce a fiber based on the fiber they are marketing uh, uh, the cloth which is made from the fiber to the international world so they make a lot of money in this so question number 31 the answer uh, most apt answer on the given uh, choice is textile fiber is the answer 31 answer is d though the rest of the things can also be done so it was in the news it was important it was significant it is given importance it was important because of this d so 31 answer is d 
Next, 33. Consider the following states uh, with reference to the state mentioned terms of percentage of forest cover. So, this is uh, a data based question again. I have written the data which is existing. Chhattisgarh is close to 41 percentage of forest cover uh, comparing to the total area. Madhya Pradesh 25, Maharashtra 16, Odisha 33. Here they are asking something uh, which of the following in the correct ascending order they have asked. So, low to the high they have asked. So, the lowest would be 3, it should be 3, then it should be uh, 2, that should, it should be 4, 1. 3, 2, 4, 1, answer is C. So, 33, answer is C. Next, they have asked again a simple map based question. They have asked question number 36. Consider the following pairs. C, they have given bordering country. They have given Albania, we all know. Albania, Croatia, they are all in the Adriatic Sea. So, Albania is in the Adriatic Sea. One is the correct answer. Croatia and the Black Sea, that is wrong. It is also in the Adriatic Sea. So, 2 is wrong. And let us see Red Sea. They have given Red Sea, Syria, they have given the Red Sea. This is also wrong because uh, Syria is in the eastern arm of the Mediterranean Sea. 5 should not come, so I am removing 5 options which are existing, 5 is uh, removed. 1 should come, either answer should be A or B. And here 2 should not come because that is wrong. Croatia is in the Black Sea which is given, it is wrong, it is in the Adria 6 Sea. And Caspian Sea is Kazakhstan, that is correct. So the answer for this is answer B. 36 option is B, answer B. Next 37, among the following, which one of the largest exporter of rice in the world in the last 5 years? I have some data with me which I just don't want to go very deep into that. But uh, it is sufficient to say that India is having uh, rice exports of close to 30 percentage. The next comes Thailand which is 22.7 percentage, Vietnam 9 percentage, Pakistan 8.2 percentage, United States, it is coming in the sequenciation. So, in the given in the given list uh, which is given in the examination, among the following largest exporter of rice in the world, India is the answer which is close to 30 percentage and more, around 30, 31 percentage uh, it is coming. So, 37 answer is B. The second largest country is Thailand which is not given in the option. Even if you take the data for the 5 years, definitely the first and second data may change. Since the second option is not given here, other than India, Thailand is not given, so there is no confusion. India is the answer. So, question number 37, answer is B. 38. Consider the following pairs we have given. Again, uh, this they have given glaciers and the rivers associated with this glaciers they have given. So, we have we have seen the answers. In the, consider the following statement, glacier, river. The first statement is correct because in the Yamuna, Bandar Panch is there. And uh, second statement is also correct. Uh, Bara Singhar is in Chanab. That is also correct. And the fourth is correct. Shiachi Nubra, that is also correct. So, 1, 2 and 4 should be the answer. So, the answer is A for question number 38. Answer is A. Question number 44, why are uh, dew drops not formed on a cloudy night? They have given a cloudy night, why do dew drops are formed? Here some of the statements in A, B, C and D which is given, they are not factually correct also. Clouds deflect uh, the blowing wind to the ground level. Wind is in the, it is in the horizontal phenomena, it is not vertical, so I can easily eliminate this also. The air surface would have low temperature on the cloudy night, that is not correct because when the clouds are existing, the temperature is high because the clouds prevent the escape of terrestrial radiation. So, this statement is also not correct. Clouds reflect back the earth radiation, that may be an answer. Clouds absorb the radiation released from the earth surface, they do not observe actually, they reflect back. So, the answer, they reflect back. Once they reflect back the radiation, which is the inso the terrestrial radiation, when it is reflected back, back to the earth. Uh, so, the dew, whatever the water formation is existing, it is all gone. So, it is all vapor. So, there is no point that dew drops are formed. So, question number 44, answer for this is B. So, uh, friends, that will be it. So, I have discussed around 11, 12 questions of uh, geography. So, now uh, Sivaraj Vilsar will come. Uh, he will be discussing questions about uh, polity and some current affairs questions.